it takes a huge amount of work to put yeah. this together. So. We employ um, 70 people throughout this season. <laughs> what? Yeah. Hey guys, it's Mark from 42freeway.com. I'm here with Dan, and we're gonna check out the Glow Halloween event, Spooky Speedway. Spooky Speedway. In Washington Township. Let's glow. Let's glow, guys. <laughs> Every adult loves this pumpkin. This is the number one thing that people come out and say, man, that was so cool. We're right up on it. Every kid loves this thing. And that is just, they found the pirate's booty. We're going to take you guys through a little part of it. We don't want to give away too much, but a little Route 666 Spooky Speedway action. And twice as long as last year. Twice as long. We went from 0.7 to 1.2 miles and, uh, you know, expanded into an area that was pretty dark last year, so we lit it up nice and bright. Twice as long, twice as gooder. Twice as long, twice as gooder. We are the <laughs> largest, the largest uh, animated custom prop display in the United States right here in Washington Township. Excellent. All hey, right. guys, welcome to the Spooky Speedway. How are we doing tonight? You guys ready to glow? We are ready to glow. All right. All right, Dan, we're right here at the entrance, and already, like, this is pretty significant. Yeah, it's an amazing display. I mean, you know, it's high-density video wall panels. We have several of these throughout the show for traffic direction, for, you know, interaction uh, within the show. And, um, you know, this is this is what makes us us. You know, we, we on something as simple as a video entrance, we spend a lot of money and a lot of time on making sure it looks great. It looks like something out of Citizens Bank Park. Like, it's it's a significant thing. Can I borrow it for, like, a game or something? Oh, you know? 100%, man. We've already set this up in the warehouse to play Mike Tyson's Punch-Out and had a good old time. <laughs> that that has to be awesome, Mike. You know what? You got the uh, the big fights coming up. Maybe you need to... <laughs> 100%, man. All right, let's move on. Let's go. So you've broken it out into themes, right? Yes. I mean, the, the, the entire theme is the spooky speedway, um, but literally you're going to be driving down Route 66. Um, so not only do we have like some Halloween elements, but we also have some Americana. So, you know, your trip starts off in Inferno, Illinois, where we do some uh, fire and ice type things. And then your trip is going to end finally in Santa Monica, California. Oh. Um, ultimately, you're going to return to New Jersey. It's a whole like welcome back to New Jersey thing. Um, so kind of like it's a small world in Disneyland when yeah. you get to the ends. Yeah, you go through all the countries and all of a sudden you're back in Florida. Can I get the kids to make like a, a, a figurine of you at the end sort of doing a dancing thing? Welcome to New Jersey. I mean, it'd have to be like a lot of materials because I gained some weight over the years. So. <laughs> <laughs> I think everybody needs to take their time when they go through here. It's two miles an hour, but there's just so many little details that you can miss. Like this guy right here, this ghost rider, um, you know, donated to us by a local friend. Um, and the, the covered wagon is obviously something that's actually in Illinois. Uh, with the Abraham Lincoln statue. So we have some famous things on Route 66 that we made scary that, to build into the show. So it's it's more than just a haunted thing. It really is a Route 666 haunted drive through You it, you know what? I really appreciate uh, that you guys put a lot of thought into this. Yeah. Like to, to carry the theme through. And you know what? Just driving up and you guys, you, you know, you got to pay, you got to pay a little bit to come through here, but you got to come through because I saw so many new things. I came through here for Christmas time. Yeah. I mean, how many new figures do you have? Look, it's it's uh, 1,400 props total. Um, wow, you know, and, and significantly most of them are new, right? Yes, yes. Uh, everything in this show is new. Um, Everything's new. Okay, I guess you just say yeah, that. Yeah, we, we make uh, we make all of our own props, even the huge 3D props. Um, I don't know. You know, we want to create something that is th themed well. We want to create something that's affordable for families. So, you know, on a on a typical night, thirty dollars is, is your ticket. There's a seventy-five cent service fee um, from the ticket company for the car. Yeah, for one yeah. car, one, one car vehicle. full. You know, if you if you have a car that holds eight people, that that's that's your up. price to get in. 30 oh, bucks. excellent. Yeah, I'm yeah. gonna ride a Greyhound. <laughs> bring, I'm gonna bring the bus through. Have you had a bus through? Let's do it. <laughs> as long as you can get through the trust, we let you in. So. <laughs> excellent. So if you're driving through here, you have your radio on, you're hearing the music, and everything's sequenced to it. So we have this awesome character in front of us. Like, you guys have programmed these things and created them. Like. What's that like? It's a whole team of people that, you know, when you start getting this big, it takes a whole village of people to really um, pull off this kind of a stunt. So, yeah, I mean, like, again, you were, we're getting ready to go into the mad Missouri, which we want to be like a mad scientist area with test tube bottles and, you know, different uh, hazmat things. And it's like, you know, a bunch of us just sitting around trying to figure out, like, how are we going to do that? How are we going to make it work? How are we going to engage kids and also make it a Halloween element? But, 
it's just so impressive. I mean, the fact that every one of these songs has singing characters. We have, I think last time we counted, it's like over like 400 singing characters throughout <laughs> the show. So, sure. you know, at any given time, if you pass something, it, there's going to be something around the corner for people to see. Right. So it's so we've already talked about you have a core theme. Yes. Then you took it to the states and you came up with different things for each state. Yes. And then within it, you got to come up with different animations and yes. different songs and different music. Yes. It's a huge amount of work. You know, earlier tonight I was driving through with a family member and I heard a little kid yell out, um, Happy Halloween to whoever she was talking to in the show. And for us, like, that's what it's about. Oh, yeah. Trick or treat! Trick or treat! Trick or treat! Trick or treat! <laughs> Have fun, guys. Happy Halloween! You know, like, um, Halloween doesn't have to be about, be about um, people screaming and, and fright and fear in the background. It can also be about little kids having fun, and that's that's our brand. That's what we do here. Little radio? Thanks, man. So this is our, uh, so this is just, this is awesome because it's, this is a result of a road trip. You know, we were sitting there trying to think about what we wanted to do with Kansas, Crooked Kansas, and there's like, in, in the Route 66 trip, there's a lot of stuff with, um, banks and um, sheriffs and old like western themed things along Route 66 right. and then at some point I just shouted out like what about a blood bank how do you make it Halloween I'm like a blood bank and so now it's it's all this is why this whole area is vampires and blood banks oh and else. so let's go back to that that looks amazing what a great theme what a great idea yeah. it just ties everything together you can hear the, the music too, too. ah just to give you a little taste of it. Were you texting people as I was uh, to get the radio? So no, no, radio. <laughs> I was just like, that's just service with a smile. I can't believe that happened. That's awesome. <laughs> you know, if I, can I just wish for a cheesesteak and does it magically that appear? Be because I could, I could go for one of them right now. You might be reading my mind. <clears throat> What's great about this part up here is uh, this is also the site along, um, along Route 66 where the original uh, tow mater was found from the uh, Disney movie Cars, so we ha oh. we actually have a real live tow meter up there. Oh, too. excellent, Yeah, excellent. Kids are gonna love that, I Kids love Kids are gonna that. love it. You know, we, <clears throat> I, I think it's awesome, but what I keep on telling people is that is a display of the support that we have locally. Like that thing was given to us in trust by um, a person at Sheridan Collision in Williamstown. Um, you know, for somebody to say like, hey, take this, have it, be enjoy, enjoy it in the show, is just an amazing thing, so. You know, just I love like the local support what they've given. We'll see them up here as we come around the turn. I have 42 freeway stickers. I could have given you them. I think they would have been an do, awesome addition. Do they that. have like a Route 66 kind of look to them? Like, I, you uh, know, I'll work vintage. on that tonight when I get. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and look at this. Just like you know, every kid's opportunity to get to see a real live tow meter up close and personal. That's amazing. So this is like a, one of your signature pieces, and I, I like I want people to understand like. You guys built every aspect of this. Every aspect, and I can't even take credit for this, Mark. This is this is 100% a definition of the team, right? Like this is my cousin Nick, who designed this, saw this, um, you know, somewhere online, and said, like, I think we can make this. I think we can make it better. Like, let's make our version of it. We're like a week from opening, and I'm like, do it. Wow. Yeah, yeah. So a that's week. It. a week from opening, and we were like, you know, it's one thing to even make it. It's another thing to conceptually think about. How do you hang it? How do you properly safeguard it? How do you push, you know, like 4,000 pixels into that thing? You know, it's it's a very time consuming piece, but I'm like, we need it. Like, let's do it. Right, it's got some some very rigid <laughs> structural uh, bases there. Yep, yep. How tall is that guy? He's uh, 20 foot tall. 20 feet tall. Mm -hmm. And yeah, you could get the biggest truck through here without without any problems. Yeah, yep. I'm incredible. I'm impressed by it in general, but then impressed that like the week before, you're like, let's just go for it. 100%, man. Like we're, we're like a, Go big or go home, man. Like there's there's no um, there's no stalling on what we want to do. If if we feel like we want to do it, like this show is very much about us having fun too. Right. You know, so we want to do that. I got full trust in these guys that if they want something, they're going to get it done and it's going to get programmed and it's going to look great. Excellent. So I bring this up as a just showing people and reminding them that on November second, we're done with our Halloween show. On Thanksgiving night, we are going to start our Christmas show. We have approximately three weeks to take all of this stuff down and then do our Christmas installment. So wow. a lot of this stuff is us trying to get creative too. On the other side of these blocks, I never knew this, but this is just us getting like completely um, creative. 
On the other side of this box is Merry Christmas. It fits in perfect. <laughs> oh! So when it comes time, it's plug it in, plug it on the other side, Spin turn the box around. around and go. Now, not every prop is that easy. A lot of this stuff is coming out, but these are. this is how we're able to pull this off. I, I don't know of many other people <laughs> with these kinds of light shows that do both Halloween and Christmas. So we're, we feel very fortunate that we've taken an entire year to plan this out and figure out how to do it. Which is an interesting point because you're going to have a lot of new things for Christmas, right? A ton of new things. So you're you're building a whole new ha Halloween show. Yep. While also trying to freshen up the uh, the Christmas event. Exactly. That's a ton of work. A ton. You, and you know what? You told me this already, but people don't realize you have like a full time staff. Full time staff. Like this is. 365, 12, you know, all year round. Yes, yes. We work, um, <clears throat> you know, eight, nine months out of the year to prepare for like this little three month chunk. So it, is, and okay. it, it just doesn't stop. And of course, you ramp up your staffing when the events oh, are course, on, of yeah. course. But yeah, it's a, it, it, it takes a huge amount of work to put yeah. this together. So. We employ um, 70 people throughout this season. <laughs> what? Yeah, and and you'll see, like, we always say, like, the one thing that we take very seriously is, we, you know, of course we take our lights seriously, but we take the staffing very seriously too. So um, please come through, compliment them, give them feedback. You know, if you see something positive, give them, a, give them a great Google review. You know, our kids get gift cards and things for every time that wow. they mention. Okay, so, excellent. you know, we, we really try, for a lot of our kids, it's their first job. So we're trying to give them like real, you know, on-site training of like what the real world is like. So it, it's an honor for us. I just want to introduce you to like five of our people right now. There are, there are some of our regulars, you know, tonight was a Michael Myers a theme night, but of course, we replaced that scary blade with a light up sword because we are a no <laughs> jump scare event. We are kid friendly. I got my pastor Austin over here. You know, got a couple uh, people over here I want to introduce you to. We got Jay, who's our main guy in the queue line. I'm sure you guys recognize him from last year. <laughs> Mr. Hollywood. Jay from Glow. We got John over here. He's wearing our custom outfit because, you know, it's Route 66, so you're going to be entering into the uh, dangerous construction zone. Of course, one of our newbies over here, Hayden. One of our cheerleaders from Timber Creek, right? Washington. Oh, almost and, got it. And Here's word is out that she's already in the running for Rookie of the Year. That's what she Rookie says. <laughs> so on any given night, we got mascots in here. We got, you know, people that are dressed up that look great, <laughs> giving out candy, giving out toys. Um, for our Michael Myers theme night, we're giving out, um, you know, fake vampire fangs. We got glow toy <laughs> nights. and. All kinds of things. So, and that's all. And this is you know, all included in the ticket. All in the ticket, and it's probably a good point to mention. This is not a scare. It's event, not a jump right? scare event. You know, we want everybody to have fun. And you know, you use the term jump scare, right? So I guess when you see the clips on YouTube of you know people yeah. going through the haunted house and they jump. Yeah. Yeah, like you're going to get it's such like, a some common sense thing and stuff here, like you know, around different turns. But we're not we're not out to make people scream. It's not what we do. It's excellent. And you guys look awesome. You guys ready to go home? No, you want to stay? This is Morgan. Under there is Dom. Oh. Hey, Morgan. Hey, Dom. <laughs> but man, they're just starting to get into it. Like our, you know, I. There, it takes a couple of days for them to understand <laughs> what we're trying to do here. But they, they really do get it. We have a good team here. But, but what a great, what a great way to make money, right? This is better than f cooking French fries. <laughs> no disrespect to the French fry people. <laughs> Luigi, I think Luigi is saying he likes French fries. I don't know. Yeah, all right, there you go. <laughs> all right. One thing that's important to say is like a lot of people that do these shows, if you took an aerial shot of what they do, it's just a simple snake pattern. Right. We do this very intricate, like kind of confuse you inside. Like when the heck is this thing going to like end? Yeah. When it, you know, you're coming around a turn. It's like, okay, I think we're coming up on that next. That is amazing. So you guys made that entire, like that's we a, need that. that's sculpture. Yes. That yes. is amazing. The woman um, that actually made that come to life is one of her employees' mothers, um, and she is just phenomenal. And then we had a, a friend of theirs make the leaves special. That wow. leaf is is done by like a professional artist, and it's the same material that we do a lot of our stuff on. It's chloroplast. You know, it's election sign right. material, um, shaved up so that it actually bends, but. That, that mouth is actually animated. That There was a team of people that did that, and I can't thank them enough. And it has to be developed in a way that it's going to sustain rain and and just weather and elements. It's not like building something. You yeah, know. like look at the poles. Like we like we even like weave the vines around it to That's cover awesome. up like all the structural integrity stuff that has to happen. <clears throat> this is my favorite prop in the show. I know it's like, how is, uh, with all the technology that you have, this is like defines me simple. 
but just like two skeletons sitting on a thing with uh, with the fire cooking s'mores and like just 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 goes to show creativity like the um, the fire being cut out with the paint and like those logs are made out of the same styrofoam material that we're using like it, it's just so much of this is just born out of creativity like even the spiral this is a repurposed kids train set that somebody <laughs> was getting ready to throw away we took it we brought it back to life repainted it restructured it um, you know and it's going to be with us for years so we it's just perfect. these are things that we do you know I know not everybody's going to think about what we do but this is literally like blast off so like we're blasting off into space and now we're blasting back down uh, into the earth and now you know you're nearing the end of the show when you start getting close to California we want to get you back to New Jersey when you hit this point of the show you know that you've seen a thousand plus props you've seen things in here that are literally not anywhere else in the United States because we've graphically designed these things from scratch wow this is this is unique to us and it's right here in New Jersey for everybody in South Jersey yeah I mean everybody's like that's been out has been like this is insane how did you do this I mean I think you did a great job tonight to just give them a little taste of what they can see but you know, there's, there's a lot to be seen here, and we really just want to hope that, you know, the hope is that everybody comes out and really checks this out because it's super unique, and, and we're happy to bring it to the local community. So how do they do that? How, what's, how do you get a <laughs> ticket? How do you? Very easy. We recommend advanced tickets all the time. Um, obviously, during the week, it's a little bit slower, so you might get away with coming in here for, a, you know, on-the-spot sale. But Friday, Saturday, please go to www.visitglow.com. Get your online ticket. You can select the segment. They come in 30-minute sections. Um, and we, again, we have like several different partner theme nights. We're partnered up with 70 plus um, 503C nonprofits. Oh, wow. Um, so you guys can even, you know, select a nonprofit that you like, and that would go back to that organization where they get 20% of the second sale. So we're. All right, buddy. Like, I, I, I don't know what to say for something <laughs> like this. This is like, you have a day job. Yeah. And you started that amazing light display at your home in Defert. Yeah. And like, I don't know how it turns into this, but it's just, the mo it's, it's incredible. And I want to thank you for giving me this, this exclusive tour here. Thank you, man. I, you know, I want to thank you for being a fan. And uh, I just keep on coming back to like our MO. You know, we keep kids first here. Uh, but, you know, our other thing is, is glow big or go home. And uh, I just don't think people really understand yet what I mean by glow big. We're just going to get bigger and bigger. Oh. Uh, we may have to schedule a longer tour then and things. All right, buddy. Well, I'm going to come through here again with my family. Awesome. I'm going to see you at the Christmas time. Thank you. And uh, guys, come out. Check them out at the website. We'll see you soon, everybody. Thanks, guys.